I believe that we will win is a chant that you may hear at sporting events as fans shout that out repeatedly and uh, it goes something like this. It begins with the, the chant leader saying, I, and the crowd follows with I. I believe, I believe. I believe that, I believe that. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. See, this was a, 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 cry, a rallying cry that was started by a student at the Naval Academy and, and they used this and they screamed it out when they played Army in football. I, I bring this up because this, for us as believers, should be our rallying cry on a daily basis. As we know as followers of Jesus that we have won. So we can shout with ease, I believe that we will win. In Revelation 22 verses 3 to 5, it tells us this. No longer will there be a curse upon anything, for the throne of God and of the Lamb will be there, and His servants will worship Him. And they will see His face, and His name will be written on their foreheads. And there will be no night there, no need for lamps or sun, for the Lord God will shine on them, and they will reign forever and ever. When we are in glory, we're not going to have to wrestle with our flesh anymore. We're not going to have to deal with hurt or pain anymore. In heaven, the paralytic will dance. The blind will see God's glory. All the saints before us that died from cancer will be fully restored because there's no cancer in heaven. We're not going to have black, white, yellow, brown issues anymore because there will be no racism in heaven. There's going to be no hunger, no pain, no tears. The curse is gone forever. And that is why we believe that we will win. That is why as a follower of Jesus, as Christians and today in the midst of uncertainty, fear, confusion, and anxiety, we must remember that we will win. One thing that is so vital to being able to shout this chant out though is that you can't do it alone. Your church family is here for you. Your church family will help shout this, chout, this chant out alongside you. You're not made to do this chant alone. You need your family and your fans and your supporters to do it alongside you. Your brothers and sisters who are here to walk alongside you, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to mourn with you, and to rejoice with you. I believe now more than ever, we have to be intentional in being a part of our church community. Too many of us have been playing the role of the Lone Ranger in the midst of this pandemic. And because of that, we're exhausted, we're tired, and we're re weary. Especially with all of the junk that we see going on in this world today. My hope is that you will consider coming back as we begin opening up more different options, uh, more ministry areas moving forward. I have missed seeing you. Our church, we have missed seeing you. And I know it's going to be a joyous day when we can all see each other again and reconnect. And so as that comes along, may this chant be our rally cry as a church body. Uh, when we reconnect with each other, may we be able to look each other in the eye and shout this out alongside each other. Say it with me. I, I believe, I believe that. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Because the victory has already been won in Christ Jesus. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.